Listening 68. Listen and read. What did the children find in the cave? It's not very comfortable in here, and it's very dark. I don't like it. Let's stay near the entrance. There's more light there. Do you remember that time we explored a cave in France, Ed? Yes. We had to leave when Dad realised he'd left the map in the car. Well, we've got a map now. Let's see where this cave is. It's raining really hard now. Look! There's water coming through the back of the cave. Look out! The cave wall is coming down. Everyone stand back! Hey, there's another cave through there. And there's something in there. It looks like a treasure chest. Wow, it looks ancient. Where did it come from? It's very mysterious. Listening 69. Listen and repeat. Ancient. Artifact. Evidence. Fascinating. Investigation. Mysterious. Sight. Strange. Listening 70. Listen and repeat. Accept. Acceptable. Comfort. Comfortable. Reason. Reasonable. Advise. Advisable. Believe. Believable. Use. Usable. Listening 71. Listen and read. When was the Marie Celeste found? There was a mysterious ship called the Marie Celeste. In November 1872, the ship left New York for Italy. The captain, his wife, their daughter and the ship's crew were on board. In December 1872, a passing ship found the Marie Celeste floating in the ocean. The captain went onto the ship. After they had climbed onto the ship, they saw there was no one there. They explored the ship and discovered that someone had taken the lifeboat and a few other things. But the ship wasn't damaged. There hadn't been a storm. What happened to the people? No one knows. It's a mystery. Listening 72. Listen and read. What do Chip and Professor want to know? How did the Egyptians build the pyramids? How did they get all those big stones there? Had they invented trucks? and trains before they built the pyramids? 
no, they hadn't invented trucks and trains before they built the pyramids. I don't know how they built them. <gasps> but I have an idea. This contains information on all the history of the world. Let's test it. What is the biggest pyramid in Egypt? The answer is the Great Pyramid of Khufu. Wow! How did the Egyptians build the pyramids? The answer is not known. Oh well, some things we'll never know. Listening 73 Listen and read. The Nazca Lines In this interview, historian Michael Jones talks about the mystery of the Nazca Lines. Michael Jones has studied the Nazca Lines for many years. 1. The Nazca were an ancient people that lived in Peru, in South America, about 2,000 years ago. The people are well known for creating the Nazca Lines. The Nazca Lines are famous all over the world and they can still be seen clearly and easily today. 2. They are giant sketches which the Nazca people drew in the desert in the Nazca Valley. Some of the drawings are just long, straight lines, but there were other drawings too. 3. No, they also drew birds, animals and figures. For example, there's a monkey, a giant condor, which is a type of bird, and a huge spider. There's also a human, which has a big round head and is known as the astronaut. We don't know why they drew these objects. 4. The desert in the Nazca Valley is made of dark red stones and soil. Underneath, there is a lighter yellow soil. The Nazca cleared away the top to show the lighter colour. The area has a very dry climate and there is little wind. Archaeologists say this is why the drawings were able to survive. 5. We can't be sure, but it probably took hundreds of years to make so many drawings, and probably hundreds or even thousands of people made them. We don't know exactly why the Nazca people made them, although they were obviously very important because they spent so long making them. 6. The drawings were first discovered in 1927 when a plane was flying across this part of the desert. What is incredible is that because they are so huge, you can only really see them from the air. Today, people travel in small planes and look down on them. But in those days, how did they see them? It's a mystery. <laughs>